in the bronze medal match with uh, the Austrians when they needed to win one of them. That was it. They then went down 5 nothing. It's possible that the same could happen here because Choknai Laszlo and uh, Vitali Dudcik are on the mat. It's 2-0 to um, the Ukrainians at the moment. And uh, they're in the strong part of their lineup with Dudcik Nabali and Luchin. So looking good for the, uh, the Ukraine at the moment. The difficulty when these sort of situations come about, 2 nothing, and maybe the fighters would have been reasonably well matched, the difficulty is that the force really does go with the... Um, 2-0 team, the team up, two to nothing. They're the ones that take the uh, the power from it, knowing that just one more win will take the medal for them. Good effort from Chucky there, though. Almost had Dudchik up onto his hip and spinning around. He's a wily character, though, is Vitali Dudchik. Yeah, exactly a year ago. Thanks very much for your message. It was a year ago that um, Drebo went up and fought at um, 73. I can't remember where it was, but it must have been about a year ago. And uh, thanks for saying, confirming that. Now he's just um, giving his knee a little bit of a massage. And uh, he picks up a second penalty this time for... Uh, Defensive gripping, overly defensive gripping. Two and a half minutes left to go. Everything rests with uh, Chopnai Laszlo as far as the Hungarians are concerned now. If they're going to take a medal on this final day, then Chucky's got to win this. Did Chick is just too clever. When you looked at the lineup and you saw that trio at the end, Dudcik, Nabali, and Luchin, you knew that Gorianac or Ungvari had to win a fight to give them a chance. Didn't happen. And now the Ukrainians are beginning to look comfortable here. Chopnai penalized twice. Time beginning to run out, minute 50 odd. That was a great piece of work. Koji Gaki from uh, Choknai brings Dudchik down. Nice technique. Rosario on the board. Shape of the um, contest is going to change now because it's down to Dudcek to um, come up with the work. He was just uh, 
coasting there. Had a look at the board. Minute 35, OK. Two penalties against Chocnay. We're 2 nothing up. And he was just looking to see out the time. But Chocnay has come back with a really, really nice co Koji Gaki and brought Dudchik down for Wazari. So it's the... Um, It's the Hungarian who leads, and he almost put the um, Ukrainian into the uh, advertising hoardings there. One of the uh, carbonated um, energy beverages was almost uh, planted on uh, Dudchik's head. So Temi was a poor one from uh, Chocnai, to be honest. Here comes the Ukrainian again, Choknai defending and then just walking off the mat and picks up a penalty. Can't afford another one and there's 40 seconds left to go. Good attack that time. Has to stay on his feet. What's he got left at 30 odd seconds? Dudchik chasing him down now. Can't go off the mat. He just can't walk off the mat. Has to stay strong now. Half a minute left. Can't drop. Has to keep up the attacks. Lots of things for Chuck Knight to think about. Won't get called for a false attack there. Has to use all his gripping skills if Ponce and Aggie attempted there from um, Choknai. 13 seconds left to go. Stay upright, stay in the competition area and don't drop. Dudchik. There's the uh, Tomoy Nagy, he's going to do it. Ukrainian coach calling for a false attack but he did have to block it and it did move Dudchik. Choknai takes it. <laughs> and there's 